If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself in, now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the word of God written by those who were inspired. I study the Bible daily. In the absence of any other proof, the sum alone would convince me of God's existence. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. To me there has never been a higher source of earthly honor or distinction than that connected with advances in science. Truth is ever to be found in simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. A thysum is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the Earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the council and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. An object in motion tends to remind in motion along a straight line unless acted upon by an outside force. As a blind man has no idea of colors, so have we no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives and understands all things. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. Errors are not in the art, but in the artificers. God is the same God, always and everywhere. He is omnipresent, not virtually only, but also substantially, for virtue cannot subsist without substance. I do not love to be printed on every occasion, much less to be done and teased by foreigners about mathematical things or to be thought by our own people to be trifling away my time about them when I should be about the king's business. There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible that in any profane history. It is the weight, not numbers of experiments that is to be regarded. Are not rays of light very small, bodies emitted from shining substances? The proper method for inquiring after the properties of things is to deduce them from experiments. We are to admit no more causes of natural things than such as are both true and sufficient to explain their appearances. To explain all nature is to difficult a 
task for any one man or even for any one age. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after you. All variety of created objects which represent order and life in the universe could happen only by the willful reasoning of its original creator whom I call the Lord God. Christ comes as a thief in the night and it is not for us to know the times and seasons which God hath put into his own breast. Opposite to godliness is a thysum in profession and idolatry in practice. A thysum is so senseless and odious to mankind that it never had many professors. I have explained the phenomena of the heavens and of our sea by the force of gravity, but I have not yet assigned a cause to gravity. The ignis fatuus is a vapor shining without heat. The moon gravitates towards the earth and by the force of gravity is continually drawn off from a rectilinear motion and retained in its orbit. We account the scriptures of God to be the most sublime philosophy. It is reasonable that forces directed toward bodies depend on the nature and the quantity of matter of such bodies as happens in the case of magnetic bodies. Nothing can be divided into more parts than it can possibly be constituted of, but matter, i.e., finite, cannot be constituted of infinite parts. Religion and philosophy are to be preserved distinct. We are not to introduce divine revelations into philosophy nor philosophical opinions into religion. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself now and then in finding a smoother pebble or prettier shell an ordinary while the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. Gravity must be caused by an agent acting constantly according to certain laws, but whether this agent be material or immaterial I have left to the consideration of my readers. Gravity may put the planets into motion but without the divine power, it could never put them into such a circulating motion as they have about the sun, and therefore, for this, as well as other reasons, I am compelled to ascribe the frame of this system to an intelligent agent. Hypotheses should be subservient only in explaining the properties of things but not assumed in determining them, unless so far as they may furnish experiments. The description of right lines and circles upon which geometry is founded belongs to mechanics. Geometry does not teach us to draw these lines but requires them to be drawn. The motions which the planets now have could not spring from any natural cause alone, but were impressed by an intelligent agent. Resistance is usually ascribed to bodies at rest and impulse to those in motion but motion and rest as 
commonly conceived are only relatively distinguished, nor are those bodies always truly at rest, which commonly are taken to be so. If the experiments which I urge be defective, it cannot be difficult to show the defects, but if valid, then by proving the theory they must render all objections invalid.